Good morning, everybody. So, let's make a little zipper fob for our beautiful sewing clutch. What I have just done, I've used uh, quite a few strands of a pearl number three, I think it is. I've threaded it through and I've tied quite a big untidy knot at the end. Okay, don't worry about it. But I didn't need to make it quite knobbly because my little um, fob needs to actually catch on something. I have got some fabric that's the same as this black and it's about a three inch square, roughly, roughly, roughly. Um, but you, you can play around with that if you like and just um, you can make your fob however long you want her to be, okay? And then just stitch down the one side Now this part of the, the fob is not my idea. It, um, and I always like to give you know, the credit to somebody who came up with this ingenious idea, but I saw it in a Japanese uh, sewing magazine years ago. I cannot remember the magazine's name. And I, yeah, so I cannot give credit to the person personally, but whoever came up with this idea, thank you very much. It's ingenious. Okay, so there you go. There is my little cylinder that I have made, if I can get the needle through. Right. Am I in the middle? Am I, how am I doing today? Okay. Let's just um, form a knot here and cut this off. Now what I have to do is I have to turn this inside out and right side up and whatever else so that it makes a cylinder, but all the seams are in the center. So let's just turn it right side out, like that. You kind of give it a little bit of a finger press. There you go. I've got a class today at home. It's a full one. I don't know why so many people are coming, but they are. So it's going to be a rather busy day. And so then you can see I've actually folded it in on itself again to make sure that all the rough raw edges are in the center so you can't see it. Okay. Oh, Chatz, this might be a very big tulip. Hmm. I think it's going to be too big, this one. Hmm. Let's just have a, just have a little bit of a test run and see how we're we doing here. Come on. So if that's there, and then I gather her around and then she flips over. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Um, or do I make it smaller now? Anna, no, 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 no. Let's just see how this works. Let's see how this works. So now I'm going to form a gathering stitch. Now, ideally, I would like this to, this thread here to have been a pearl number uh, 12 or a pearl number eight, but I don't have any. So unfortunately, I'm just going to do this one with ordinary sewing cotton. But if, if I was you, I would actually um, try and use quite a strong thread because you'll see we're going to, we're going to gather this up, am I, in the center? We're going to be gathering this all up. This fabric is fraying quite badly, but that's fine. Just trying to see if I'm in the middle here. All right, now let's leave her. And now I've got to make this fob. So what I've got to do is I've got to push it in this way. And I've got to make sure that the where I'm going to gather up is actually going to, oh, please don't break thread. Oh, so I've gathered her up really firmly. Now, if you had a, a really nice a pearl number eight, you'd be able to really pull this firmly. I'm actually a little bit nervous to do that. So what I'll just do is I'll just go through my cord that I've made as well. 
spread out the love give it a little okay now that should work hopefully can maybe find some pearl number 12 and fix it so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn her out again right side out don't worry about that I'll sort all my frayed edges out Yo, you see I couldn't pull this tight enough ideally I would really have liked to pull that much tighter okay now I'm going to get some of my black thread again and I'm going to stitch this side to there a few times and then close it up and then go from this side to that side you know what I have been known to also stuff these little tulips to just give it more and maybe I'll finish this video for you and then I will go and do it properly myself with pearl number eight because I didn't have any and also to stuff my little tulip yo my tulip's just a little bit big peeps and she needs to be stuffed can you see she's just a bit big get all the nonsense out the way yeah I mean I like her do I think she's too big I do but um that's just how you do it so th remember this one I cut four inches by four inches so maybe you can make her a little bit smaller but if you want her to look big like that that's also fine I mean I don't know if she's big or small or you know but anyway there you go thanks for your time bye for now